Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and I'm going to run you through some IS Boxer 2 Alpha first time setup. Uh, so here we are with IS Boxer 2 Alpha, and we've got no team in the drop down. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new team. Uh, we're not going to import from IS Boxer 1, we're going to go straight IS Boxer 2 today. Uh, so add team members slash windows to IS Boxer 2. There's nothing in the list. New. Uh, so you start by picking a game. Game location is what it's actually going to launch. Uh, now there's none on the list, so we can use the handy plus over here. Uh, let's import game profiles from Inner Space. You can also import from IS Boxer 1 character sets. Uh, but I'm going to use the game profile from Inner Space. So let's import the DirectX 11 Legacy World of Warcraft client profile. And that's going to get us started for World of Warcraft here. Uh, now I don't have to add the game account, but you can do that, and it, that'll let you set up, for example, password management um, and other settings based on your game account later on. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this video, so character I will do. Um, that's later on is going to um, be used for setting up World of Warcraft macros using the character name and such. Um, so because of World of Warcraft and I've already logged into the characters, I can just double click on them in the list here uh, to import them into IS Boxer 2. Okay, so I've got the three characters that I wanted to add, um, and now I just need to add them to the team. So there's the first one. Number two. And number three. So I've got my three characters added here. I uh, go to the next step. Uh, this I just added team name here. There we go. Click OK. And now I have a very bare bones uh, multi boxing team. So I can go here, check out the team. Uh, there's no modules loaded, no hotkeys or game key bindings, and no nothing. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch. And that'll get us three just World of Warcraft windows. We'll wait. Here we are. We've got three World of Warcraft windows. So there they are. I can switch between each of them the old-fashioned ways. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, get into the next part, which is what modules can add on uh, to the experience here. Uh, we're going to start by going to the Modules tab and see we have no installed modules. We're going to use the Download button. And I'm going to show you three different modules. The Video Effects Layout module implements a basic video effects layout using an assigned team member to host the layout. Core uh, adds hotkey and broadcasting toggles. And WoW Party implements follow and assist using the IS Boxer 2 add-on for World of Warcraft. Um, and it includes hotkeys for follow and assist. So we're going to install that as well. So now these three modules are installed. They automatically load. Um, and it's set up for the team as well. So each of these has global options. Um, the WoW Party actually has no options. Core module has this start with hotkeys uh, enabled option, which we're going to leave off for now. And video effects layout has this team member uh, that would, uh, we use to host the video effects layout. Now, I want to use a DX Nothing window, so we're going to have to go add a DX Nothing team member to IS Boxer 2. Um, so we're going to use the DX Nothing game, and we're going to have to add another game location since there's no option for DX Nothing. Import DX Nothing, and good to go. DX Nothing. Again, we don't need a character or a game account for DX Nothing. And there it is. And now, if we go back to the module and the global options, uh, we can select DX Nothing right there. So we'll save that. And the other thing we'll do right now is go into the team settings under hotkeys and set a hotkey for follow me, which 
we'll use Alt F and assist me Alt A. So that's all the settings we're going to use for now. And we're going to launch our team and we'll see how this is different than uh, launching with no modules. All right, so here's our DX Nothing window. We can activate any of these windows we want. And here's our broadcasting and hockey toggles. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now the video effects layout is it's a bit different than you might be used to from IS Boxer 1. We've got a user interface that we can play around with. Um, and there's different buttons and other controls that you'll be able to um, add depending on the video effects layout module you're choosing to use or um, different configuration within the modules. So let's go ahead and load into the world. So here we are in the game. I've got hotkeys and let's split up a little bit and use auto follow. Whoop. There we go. Follow me guys. There we go. And let's try it from this window. We'll have to turn on hotkeys in each window since I didn't uh, do that yet. So walk him over there. Follow him. We'll walk him over here. Follow him. There we go. So as you can see that works. Um, can target things and make everybody assist. Um, so that's uh, that's our basic starting point here for IS Boxer 2. We've got modules that can um, add all the functionality that we need um, to run your multiboxing team. Uh, so next we'll go through module development and publishing modules um, and we'll get everybody started using IS Boxer 2.